two babies entry. Right now, we had a different news. That is why PC entry online stand for makabuluhang journalism. With us, graces the 3 to 1 million voters of President-elect Ferdinand Bongo Michael Jr. With us is Presidential Ball, President Honorable Ex-Governor Ephraim Nino Baldomiro de Pino, as according to him to claim by the legal president in Edsa Shrine through People's Power National Opposition Executive Committee with the assistance of the United Nations Organization and President Joe Biden of the American government, also with the NATO or NATO or the treaty organization declaring Ninoy the Finno as the registered and recognized President of the Republic, President of the Republic of the Philippines. With us, without further ado, Commander Ilaga, good day. A good uh, afternoon, uh, my countrymen of the Republic of the Philippines. I am glad to announce to you that uh, uh, July 1, effective, uh, I already uh, rule the government of the Republic of the Philippines as uh, being proclaimed by the National United Opposition Executive Committee. The, as a matter of fact, the joint opposition uh, already recognized me as the president of the Republic of the Philippines, uh, mentioning uh, the fact that the opposition is also leading in the last MENA election. But ang nangyari sa bansa natin, malawak ang pandaraya ng mga Marcos, uh, uh, cru Cronis, uh, including the Comunican Bank, yon yung Lotong Macau, ang election sa Republika ng Pilipinas. Uh, now, the President of America, President Biden, knows that there is a malawakang pandaraya sa election. They will not recognize Marcos and the NATO trade organization, the European countries. I was uh, advised that uh, I am going to talk to them, especially the United Nations organization. Uh, the Secretary General invited me to uh, give us an emphasis of uh, uh, situation, political situation in the Republic of the Philippines. Being now the President of the Republic, there is now a political crisis going on in this country. My countrymen, I am very sorry that I have to fight the opposition group because I believe 80% of our population now in this Republic, the Soviet Mindanao, are opposition. They will never, never respect Marcos as, as President of this Republic because of the previous history of their family. We have been 21 years of Marcos regime. Ano nangyari sa bansa? Gotum, martial law, brutal killing, the same as what we are now suffering. 25 million people now are in hunger, are now in the level of poverty. Ano mangyari sa bansa natin, my dear countrymen? I already announced to you na a bagong leader, President Nino Edifino, para sa ang kahirapan ng bansa, malutas ko agad ito, ba, dahil ang ating uh, Marcos regime in the previous 21 years history, malagim ang sitwasyon ng buhay ng mga Pilipino. Wala kinabukasan sa Marcos regime. Kailangan, kailangan natin ngayon sigaw ng bayan ng mga oposisyon. 70 to 80 percent are opposition in this Republic of the Philippines. That's why I was now proclaimed by the 70 to 80 percent of Filipinos, more than 31 million of Marcos. This 70 to 80 percent, kung very clean, kung walang malawak ang pangdaraya sa eleksyon, ako, ako ang last light victory ang opposition ngayon. Kahit na si Robredo na reklamo sa sitwasyon ngayon, lahat ng mga presidensya mo. So ako ang ilang ginagay na, the People's Power President supporteran sa lahat ng mga opposition group in this Republic of the Philippines uh, yesterday in the uh, Easter Shrine. So thank you so much, uh, my dear Filipino people. We are now uh, uh, going to the right direction. Wala nang corruption, wala nang brutal killing sa droga, wala nang martial law, wala nang knockdown. Free education ako, free hospitalization. 
may ara, mayroon kayong isang sakong bigas na mga least fortunate family, mayroon kayong libre na 20% subsidy sa oil, wala na kahirapan kayo sa ilalim ng aking administration. And now, the NATO Treaty leaders, the European countries are willing to give me a full backing of financial assistance of 300 million dollars. That's why I have to go on July, on the month of last week of July, to go to European countries and even President Biden, I have to meet him personally, explaining to him the political crisis going on in this country, and he will help me because my uh, allied forces is America. My allied forces is not China. It is very sad to see Mr. Uh, China, the president of China. I don't want you to be related to the Philippine government. Kayo ang nagbigay ng political crisis. Kayo ang nagsuportar kay Marcos sa Pinansyal. You are now intervening the political status of this country. Yan ang magulo ang bansa natin dahil ang China ngayon occupied na ang West Philippine Sea. So ginawa yan ni Duterte sa previous administration. I have now to cut off our relationship with China. And we have to have a strongest relationship with America. America is my allied forces. I hope President Biden, if you hear, listen my voice. We are going to meet with each other, discuss this political crisis in our country, and we will be able to intervene. The United Nations, NATO Treaty Organization, that you have to advise Marcos, Marcos to go down because this will create only civil war in the future. But I have a good negotiation with Mr. Marcos. I sent you a memorandum. 50% of the Department of Government is for you and 50% for the opposition, uh, President Nino De Pino. Para wala gulo, wala gulo, Mr. Marcos ang ating gobyerno. Uh, we have to coordinate with each other as two president now fighting together. Let us give a chance to the Filipino people to select the best leader. Kailangan na natin naman uh, another election in the future days after one year. So ngayon, kailangan lang natin muna na peaceful manner, especially our Kam Aguinaldo, Kam Krami, you see you should be neutral in this political crisis. You have to respect also Marcos, respect also myself as a people opposition president of this republic. We are going to negotiate with each other in, uh, in uh, uh, management of our different departments. Kung mayroong problema dyan, I advise our military organization, lalo Kam Aguinaldo, and also come Krami to coordinate with me and we are going to treat all this on all aspects, all angles na tayong mga Pilipino as a peace-loving Filipino people while we are now on the suffering of this political crisis. Now, as you heard from the opposition side, not just the sentiment but the group to proclaim as they recognize new president of the Republic, no other than Mr. Ninoy De Pino. Of course, uh, on a uh, president-elect, Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr., based on the commission on election, is still be recognized our duly elected president of our country. As we give way for this uh, interview, we don't want to create confusion to our fellow Filipino, but to enlighten and give sight, not just with President-elect, but also uh, on the opposition, like uh, Mr. Ninoy uh, De Pino. And we want that this program will serve a way to have a better and brighter future and a peaceful Filipino and a peaceful and progressive country that we are all Filipino. No races, no discrimination, no religion, no part, just a peaceful Filipino on this 2022 and the years to come. This is MJ Albino Balaguer of BCMG Online. Makabuluhang journalismo, your happiness channel.